A laundry list of items on the agenda for Florida's Board of Education. The board meeting in Orlando today to approve new rules for the upcoming school year. They reviewed everything from new course standards for social studies to the controversial parental rights and education bill. News 6's Emily McLeod is inside the Rose and Shingle Creek Hotel where that meeting took place. It was a long day here for many as the State Board of Education combed through a 32 item agenda. The board members approved some highly contested items, including the expansion of the parental rights and education bill and the use of bathrooms based on biological gender. Now, those in favor of those items, they came out today and thanked the board for their work, while those opposed came in and waved their pride flags with their posters. The State Board of Education adopting a number of new rules that align with several laws that passed during the recent legislative session. Teachers, students, and parents from all over the state came to Wednesday's meeting. They don't care about the students. They're not working for us. This is all just part of this agenda that our state legislature is pushing. Anti-education so they can win elections. The board passing several new rules, including the expansion of the parental rights and education bill, which critics have dubbed the Don't Say Gay bill. Board members also voting unanimously to approve new rules prohibiting students and teachers from being forced to use preferred pronouns and requiring people to use bathrooms based on their biological gender. Those in favor of the measure say teachers need to leave their personal beliefs at the door. If they aren't willing to do this, then they should find a different vocation in a state with similar values of their own, like California or New York. Those are my comments. Thank you. Those opposed say the new rules unfairly target the LGBTQ plus community. The expansion of this harmful exclusion of basic human decency puts both LGBTQ teachers and students at risk. Please don't fire my teachers for giving me an inclusive environment. Representative Anna Eskamani was also at Wednesday's meeting and says there are other issues educators should be focused on. We're seeing children struggle to focus on things like reading, and yet here we are having a debate over pronouns. I mean, it's just the, the complete disconnect between what our kids actually need us to focus on versus culture wars that have just taken over this entire educational system in Florida. In Orange County, Emily McLeod getting results, News 6.